After Thursday's demonstration, activists came to the Russian embassy again to protest Russia's bombing of Syria. They accused Russia of committing war crimes in Aleppo. Since the last ceasefire in September, it is estimated that more than 800 civilians in Syria have died. Today we're here to protest against Russian war crimes in Aleppo and Syria in general. We're here to say that we will not stand for Russian war crimes and that these war crimes should be punished. Police came soon to prevent protesters from getting close to the embassy. During the airstrikes by the Syrian government, it is confirmed so far at least 96 children were killed. The bombing also forced the two largest hospitals in Aleppo to stop providing services. This has left a quarter of a million civilians without medical treatment. Medical facilities in Syria has been targeted uh, systematically by the Russian uh, air force. Uh, I have been twice uh, in Syria as a society, a medical society, supporting our uh, colleagues inside Syria to help Syrian people uh, to survive. Half past four, an activist is still gathering in front of the Russian embassy. They're trying to make their voice heard and send a clear message to the Russian government. The people of the world are watching. Mikhail Gov has Mr. News.